The NGLR is a follow-on to the Apollo retro reflectors that have been on the moon since the 70s. It's more precise, it's a little bit larger, and it's designed to help us understand the movement of the moon. Hi, I'm Dennis Harris, the Lunar Payload Manager for the Next Generation Lunar Retro Reflector, otherwise known as NGLR, and I'm at uh, Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama. NGLR is designed to return a laser pulse. It starts at the Earth, travels to the retro reflector, and then returns to the Earth. Large amount of science comes out of a simple instrument like a retro reflector. So the two things immediately is we can measure the precise distance but also it gives us information about the liquid core of the moon and how it moves, which will help the astronauts who will spend time there to understand their environment. I'm excited because this is a follow-on to the Apollo retro reflectors, allowing us to have maybe even a hundredfold better idea of the precise distances to make our measurements more accurate and our predictions about general relativity and the interior of the moon more precise. NASA works in collaboration with the University of Maryland on the uh, NGLR program. NASA Marshall's role are is to facilitate the build, the test, the development, the design, and the delivery of the instrument to the lunar surface. Commercial Lunar Payload Services, NASA and American companies working together. <laughs>